Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I'll be opening up the Beatles Singles Collection from 2019. This is a brand new box set that compiles 22 singles from the Beatles. These are UK singles and it spans from 1962 all the way up into the 90s. That includes Real Love and Free as a Bird, plus it has a book. Oh my goodness, I did not expect to be spending more money on the Beatles this year, but it turns out they suckered me in one more time for this box set. Uh, so with all that said, let's open this up. All right, I'm gonna cut right down here, right across the top, go there, and go here. All right, well that's nice. Oh, this is perfect, I'll just flip this over. And, oh, got to move that flap, and voila, there it is. Oh, nice. Spin that around. Boom. Nice. Uh, I actually forgot to show you guys, but I'm sure it says it here. Yeah, so this is made in Germany. On the back, we have a little info sheet that says, featuring the 22 singles issued in the UK between 1962 and 1970, plus exclusive to this box, a double A side of the 1990s releases, Free as a Bird, I already said all this, and Real Love, mastered at Abbey Road Studios from mono and stereo tapes of the original single mixes. The discs are presented in replica, first issue picture sleeves from around the world, a fully illustrated booklet, includes extensive notes. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's open this up. There we go. I love this blue color too. Looks fantastic. It's a, li it, it's a little different than the Abbey Road blue, I noticed. All right. But I love how much it matches the uh, mono box set. All right, oh, so that's kind of like a J card almost. Interesting, all right. Flip, oh, that's off to the side. Oh, nice, that is gorgeous. Look how these all line up like that. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love this. There's even a Japanese sleeve, wow. All right, uh, let's get rid of that. Set this aside. Um, let's see, we'll put these down. We'll put this. Helps if I do it the right way. There we go. All right. Nice. Looks like they're in chronological order here. Gotta love me do. P.S. I love you on Thule which I believe I actually have an original Thule version of this. Um, these are nice too. Polylined paper sleeves for the inside there. These are small hole records. I, th I believe all of these will be small hole records, which I'm fine with. I don't need the, the hole. I mean, these aren't supposed to be necessarily 100% reproductions. You know what I mean? These are more for like a nice, a nice, uh, a nice uh, replica, I guess, is, is the word I would want to use. Pretty looks pretty good here, I gotta say. Please please me, ask me why. This must be an Italian, Italian cover. Oh, look at that, even the labels, I'm not doing good here, even the labels match the country. I was not expecting that. That is very cool, because I don't think I own any, I don't really own anything from Italy. I don't think I have many records from Italy. And from me to you, thank you, girl. <laughs> that's, that's a great cover. Oh, these must be other releases. I wonder where this is from. Norway. And yeah. That's pretty cool. What do we got here? Oh, this must be from, from Greece, huh? Looks like Greek there. Let's see. Yep. She loves you and I'll get you. 
<laughs> Los Beatles. I love that. Was this Spain or Mexico? I can't tell. I would say Spain because I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Could be Mexico. It's not saying. You guys would know better than I would. I'm not familiar with a lot of the foreign labels. Ooh, this one. I like the cover of this one. This one's great. Can't buy me love. You can't do that. Where is this one from? Let's see. Austria. Ooh, I like. Look at those labels. It's very Art Deco. That looks great. Hard Day's Night, The Things We Said Today. I don't know where this... Holland. What do we got here? I Feel Fine, She's a Woman. It's another great cover. I wonder where this is from. Sweden? Must be. Let's see. Yep. Wow. I love how they did this for every label. They reproduce the country. That's so neat. Can you imagine how much this would cost uh, to replicate a set like this with like near mint copies from all these different countries with the picture sleeves? My goodness, I'm, I'm sure it would cost more than this set. Wow, this is Spain. Okay, so maybe the other one was Mexico then. Yeah. Or is this Portugal? All right, then we have, wow, there's so many to go through still. We got help, I'm down, and this is from Belgium. This looks great. Um, yeah, to speed this up, I'm just gonna kinda Show you the label that way, look through the window. Let's, oh, this must be France? Cool. Oh, you know what? I don't know how well this looks. This must be kind of rare because this scan looks terrible. Uh, there's lots of jagginess throughout. Gosh, why does it look so bad? All the other ones look amazing, but this one looks terrible. Yeah, so I don't know how well you can see, but it's, it looks like a JPEG image that you've blew up too much and it's just very jaggy, which is a shame. Like, I don't know why it looks this bad. I don't, I don't understand why. But uh, yeah, we can work it out. Day Tripper from France. And then we, <laughs> the famous yesterday and today picture, paperback writer in rain. Oh, these labels look great. Turkey. Hey, how cool is that? And then we have, oh man, I like this dot matrix style print on this one. Uh, Yellow Submarine and Ele Ele Eleanor Rigby. And this is from Argentina. Very cool. I love this record label. Very cool looking. And then, oh nice. Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. Some of my favorite songs right there. And this has got to be, yeah, this is a UK, the UK version of it. It'd be great to own an original of this. I love this photo of the group. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a great picture. Print quality on this one is not as good. This scan is, it's a little, it looks a little blown up too. Not as bad as the Day Tripper one, but yeah. It's a little messed up, but where is this one from? Oh, this must be Germany, huh? Maybe Austria? Austria or Germany? I can't tell. These, what are these? You could send away for these little medallions. I wonder if anybody, if these still exist. Someone's got to have a full set of these. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, what do we got here? Hello, goodbye. I am the walrus. Oh man, love these songs. Ooh, look at this capital label. Where is this one from? Huh, I don't know, maybe Mexico? Unfortunately, I can't, I don't know where this, this one's from. That's too bad, it doesn't say on there. Ooh, this one's gorgeous. Wow, Lady Madonna and the Inner Light. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's great, it comes with the lyrics. Wow, obviously this is the Japanese. 
release. Wow, very plain, but that logo for Odeon looks, looks pretty modern for this time period. Revolution and Hey Jude, that is a gorgeous cover. I love that. And let's see. This almost looks like another UK single, but can't tell. Yeah, don't know. Hopefully the booklet will, will give us more information. Get back and don't let me down. That's a great put picture too. I love that. Oh, nice. Apple labels. Denmark. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, got to clean this up a little bit here. Man, there we go. I got to say the jacket quality on all of these is fantastic. Uh, it's just that a few of them, the print quality, I guess they were limited by the source material, just didn't look that great. So this looks like, hmm, I don't know. About a John Yoko. I don't know where this was. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Old Brown Shoe, both great songs. Yeah. Portugal. Yeah, okay, so this is por Portuguese. And, oh man, I like this. Come together, look at that. Look how it, it cut, they took an alternate, or no, is that just, oh, that's just flipped. What am I thinking? <laughs> they just took Abbey Road and they, and they mirrored it. Okay, I was getting, I was like, whoa, they used an alternate shot, but no. Uh, let's see, what, where country is this from? Let's see if I can figure that out. I can't tell. And, oh, let it be, let it be. You know my name, look up my number. Uh, let's see, another Apple label. Uh, looks like the UK version of that. Oh, here it is, free as a bird, real love. Man, that is cool. Yes, it's got a copyright or a publishing date of uh, 1996, 1995. Ah, oh, that's cool. Man, that is, that is too cool. Nice, and here is the booklet. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's a booklet feel. For some reason I was thinking it was gonna be more of a book, but that's all right. Nice, okay, and then it shows, okay, so this is what the, uh, the UK singles would have looked like. I'm gonna kind of move these over a little bit. That's what the UK singles would have looked like. And uh, so yeah, most of these aren't even picture sleeves. It's just uh, Let It Be, just these two, plus the later singles. Nice, okay, so we start in 1962. Yeah, it just sort of gives you a little uh, like biography on each song, kind of like what was going on what happened, recording. That's pretty cool. Gives you a nice little overview here. I'll have to read through this later. Love these photos too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Gives you some notes on the sleeves here. Um. Uh, this is written by Kevin Howlett. Cool. You know, oh, okay. Nice, perfect. So, okay, so this is where we get where the sleeves are from. Perfect, okay, I was, I was hoping you'd have that. All tracks are in mono except for The Ballad of John Yoko, Old Brown Shoe, Something, Come Together, Let It Be, Free as a Bird in Real Love. And then uh, it also says, except for Free as a Bird in Real Love, the picture sleeve and label of each single is a close replica of how it was first released in a particular country. As information originally printed on the perimeter of the labels has changed over time, these discs display the current copyright details. That's a nice note. I'm glad they included that. But man, this is very cool. I am stoked to have this. Uh, I didn't think I'd really like it that much because I'm not... I'm not really a seven inch guy, but you know, now that I have it in my, in, in my possession, it's, it's pretty darn cool. I'm, I'm pretty stoked uh, to have this and uh, man, 
to think that I'd be spending more money on the Beatles this year, 2019, after the Abbey Road sessions. I just, I just didn't think this was going to happen, but here it is. Um, yeah, you, I guess they're planning something big for 2020 because uh, it feels like this was a little crowded with the Abbey Road release. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like Abbey Road sort of overshadowed the release of this guy, but uh, man. Still, very, very cool. If you guys have an original blue box from 1982 and you picked up this version, let me know what you think of the two. How do they two, How do they compare, especially sonically? Because I haven't listened to these yet. I'm sure they're gonna sound great. Uh, Bruce Spicer, I read his review. He said they all sounded very good. His only qualm was that he wished they were more of a replica of how they were originally released in the UK. So that means he, he wants all of these sleeves, not these picture sleeves. I kind of disagree. I, I would, I prefer the artwork as they are here because I'm much more of a visual person, which is one of the reasons seven inches don't excite me as much as like LPs because LPs have that nice cover art. Having the seven inch singles in this format is very, very cool. I like the attention to detail. It's just unfortunate that two out of all these singles, the print quality, well, the print quality is fine. It's just the image quality isn't sharp. That's my only nitpick with this whole set. Otherwise, I think it's very cool. I think it's definitely worth the money. This is, uh, I think I paid uh, around 170 for all of this shipped, which I think is a, a fair price. And with this booklet, I think uh, I think it makes a nice, nice package and it's just in time for holiday shopping. So put this on your list if that's something you wanna get. All right, everybody. So having said all that, I wanna know you have to say, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna pick up this set, if you're thinking about it, or if you're not, let me know why. I'm very curious to read that. And also let me know which of these is your favorite single, or let me know which of, this, which of these were your favorite picture sleeves. That'd be pretty cool too. All right, everybody, that will do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching this unboxing video. Now, if you wanna see more, I put a playlist right there as well as a Beatles playlist. Now, if you like what I'm doing and you wanna help support me for as little as a dollar a month, you can head over to my Patreon and help this channel grow.